Hello everyone, it's Arlene with, from Design with Arlene. Welcome to my channel where I make video tutorials sharing my love of paper crafting. Today I have a card that I'm going to be making using this Quiet Meadow set by Stampin' Up. This is a card where I'm going to show there's a technique using the Stampin' Blends markers and alcohol. It's fairly popular because I've seen it before so I wanted to, to give it a shot and try and see what I thought about it and it's a technique that I found that I really love. So, and I wanted to share it with you. So, um, let's go on with showing what I'm using for my cardstock. So, I'm starting out with a piece of basic white that is um, top. This is this is a card that I just made at my Facebook Live um, on Friday. That I have live just get-togethers. I guess you'd call them their lives at eight o'clock. Um, on Friday on Facebook. So it's a lot of fun. So this is a version of it, but this one is top folding. It's made with a basic white cardstock. And I also have a piece of, I'm using Rich Razzleberry. And that I'm just going to layer onto the top of my, my base of my card with some stamp and seal. So it's really hot out today here. And so we have our swamp cooler on. And so my paper I've noticed tends to curl. It gets really humid, so, okay. So let's set that aside, and then we're gonna get to the fun part of using our Stampin' Blends and rubbing alcohol. All right, so I have just a little, a little. Um, this is like a leftover, probably maybe, I don't know, some kind of a tray that I've washed. I think it was like a cheese tray or something. Um, and I washed, and then I have it a little bit just damp. It's from the sponge that I used to clean my stamps with. And I'm just gonna kind of set that down there like this. This is a sheet of vellum. And all the dimensions will be on my blog, so I tend to not worry about the dimensions as I'm showing the tutorial. So it's curling, like I said, it's kind of humid in this area right now because of the swamp cooler, only the swamp cooler. <laughs> it's pretty dry where we're from. And then I have some Stampin' Blends. Now I picked um, the both the light and the dark in the old olive. So this is some of the old olive that I'm just going to just scribble. Remember how we scribbled when in school, it was kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some dark and I'm using the Blackberry Bliss and I'm using the brush tip. So we'll just go in and color this in. And then I'm going to use the light of the Blackberry Bliss in the Old Olive and just repeat that process. All right, so this is what it looks like once I've, I've scribbled on my vellum. And then I'm going to place it back onto my tray. I just wanna have some kind of a work surface um, because the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some rubbing alcohol. So now this rubbing alcohol I have is actually my son's. He works with like minifigures and all kinds of fun things for his um, like D&D games. So this is, I just, I, I saw this. So it's a pretty high amount, 99.9. .9. It I've noticed it does really evaporate quickly, um, but I've heard as long as you use above 90% or maybe it's 91% that you'll get a good effect as well too. And I have decided that I'm going to take a paintbrush. This is just because I had this um, handy here in my craft room. You can also take like cotton, I've, I've actually seen it with um, a cotton uh, Q-tip. So that will work too as well. And I'm sure there's other things. Just kind of find what you have around the house because all you're trying to do is just transfer that alcohol over onto your work surface of the area where you have put the the, um, the sponge or the Stampin' Blends on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and you're gonna see this fun magic right here. And I'm just dripping it. I'm just gonna put it like on drops. And I just like to cover the surface because that's going to give the effect of these fun bubbles. Can you see that? It's really a fun technique because you can actually see it. It's like magic. <laughs> so I'm just gonna repeat this process on the rest of the colored vellum. Okay, and then it is finished, it's still wet, and it is curling, which you, you don't want it to curl because if it curls, it's gonna kind of bleed a little bit out there. So 
Um, I'm going to try this. I've heard somebody put, putting the alcohol on the bottom of their surface and seeing if it stays flat, which is helping. So that's a good thing. And then I have a heat gun, so you don't have to do this, but I'll show you what it does. It will kind of move that color around to make those ridges a little bit more definite, the lines. So let me show you what this does. And you can see that it dried a lot quicker with using a heat tool. And then it also moved that around a little bit so you can actually see more of those drying lines where they dry quickly. So that is super fun. And then since it is dry, I can go ahead and um, adhere it onto the base of my card. So what I'm doing first, because it is a, it's a vellum, so it's see-through, I like to take a little piece of, um, this is the basic white cardstock, the same size and I like to lay layer that vellum over it so that you can see more of the color showing through. So let me go ahead and we'll adhere this on. And then we will glue that onto the top of our Blackberry Bliss. Okay, so we've got that ready. Let's set that aside. And then I'm going to go on with the stamping. The two colors of ink that I'm going to be using are Blackberry Bliss and Old Olive. And I'm just inking up the word stamp. I really like this, this um, the wording. It's like some it's type, it's just a saying, but it's, um, it's a, like a distressed look, which I really like for the backgrounds. And since I inked it up, but I want a really light look since it's a background, I'm going to stamp off a couple of times because especially it's darker too. And then just randomly go um, down the length of the piece of basic white. Stamp a little bit more there just to kind of cover it up. Um, and then the next stamp I have I want to use and this is just it's from the stamp set it's just a kind of a splatter background stamp and that in the old olive inking that up and then again stamping off a couple times and then just randomly filling up some of the white areas or um, just on the down again down the length of that strip of basic white. I'm using the double oval punch and I'm cutting out a piece of the the, the smaller circle in basic white, which I've already done here. And then I'm going to take some of that rich razzleberry and just use my the top part of the punch to punch out that scalloped oval right there. And then on the white piece of cardstock with my old olive, I'm stamping this little saying that says you're too kind. So that can go like as a thank you card or, you know, it's a um, birthday card. It's got some versatility to it. Okay. And then let's go ahead and layer those together. Now the stamp set, the Quiet Meadow, also has some, um, some dies that go with it. And this is the Meadows dies. So if you buy them together as a set, they're a 10% discount, but you can purchase them separately too. So I use one of those dies from that, um, from the Meadows dies and I cut out this beautiful little, it's like a, a silhouette. So it's out of the rich razzleberry. I really like it. It's just kind of little flowers with some stems going down and that I'm going to actually glue right on top of the stamped piece that we have. I'm gonna use some liquid glue here and get that glued up and I will glue that into place. Okay, we'll get all of these things together and get this put put together, the card. Now you can see where the color, the Blackberry Bliss, see with when I added the rubbing alcohol, it did lighten it up, which is why I went a little bit higher in, or lighter in my um, cardstock, which I used the Rich Razzleberry instead. So I have a piece that's cut a little bit larger, and that's just going to um, layer 
I'm layering on the whisper white or ah, basic white. <laughs> I I know I've been calling it um I've been calling it the other one for so long, whisper white that it's it's some um, old habits sometimes die hard. <laughs> All right, and then let's layer on this piece over here. And then I've got some Stampin' Dimensionals that I'm going to use to adhere this. But the, what I want to do first is actually take some of these little gems. So these are the Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials. I really like them because they have different designs on here. So I am going to use the little diamond shaped ones. And then another one down below it. Okay, and then I also have a piece of, this is some linen thread. So I just took a length of it and then I, I folded it in half. So I'm working with double, a double strand and I'm tying just a simple bow. I say simple, but you know, bows. I say this every time, but I'm actually getting, I'm actually getting better with the bow making. <laughs> so, okay. And I wanna leave a little bit of a longer tail on this one this time. Just because they remind me of like wildflowers and, you know, they just, I thought that was cute. So let's go ahead and put my sentiment on that I've, the, with the double oval punch. If you have any of these or you have this set, let me know what you think about it if you like it. And even that double oval punch, what you've done with it. This is where I would usually take, let me see, I do, I think I have a glue dot. I found one. I take, like to take a little piece of it if it's a bigger one. And just put a little bit of the glue dot there on the back of that bow. And we're just going to, like we've tied the flowers together in a little bundle. That was fun. Okay, and then there you have that really fun card. It's, um, it, It'll open up and you can put a sentiment on the inside if you want. But you can see what that fun technique is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think if, if you try this this, um, the alcohol with the Stampin' Buns technique. Let me know what you've made with it. Um, check us out on Facebook. There's always places where you can post your ideas and the, what you've done, your projects. So I'd love to see them. And if you like this video and you want to see more of it, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to, we'd love to have you join um, our little community. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.